Hey guys, I all packed up. There you go. It is raining, it is cold, my hands are freezing, so this is gonna be a short introduction. Um, I am going to cycle. Um, it's early right now, it's like almost 9 o'clock. I decided to get up early because the wind is not so bad right now, but it's gonna pick up during the afternoon. But I hope by then that I am on the downhill because in about 30 to 40 kilometers there's going to be a big downhill into the fjords. And uh, we're probably going to document that one. I'm going to put a GoPro here again and then you can see the downhill which is going to be amazing. And that's about it for the rest. Uh, I'm just going to cycle out of this uh, plateau thing which is just this. Like yesterday you saw some shots of that. So I think today I'm just going to cycle. It's also raining and my hands are getting cold. So let's go. Ah. Guys, I made it. The monks downhill. Let's go. Oh man, my ears just pop. <laughs> we are down, we are right now. Well, we descended about 500 meters. We're, we're gonna go pretty much to sea level today, hopefully. Uh, so that's really good. People were warning me for, do you have winter tires? You know, it's gonna get cold, it's gonna get icy. I mean, kind of get an idea of who you can trust and who you can't. All right, now it starts downhill number two. This one has a few tunnels, so I have this. I'm gonna review this so I can check if it's on. <laughs> and here are my lights. Blowing and my front light right here. But I think the rear ones are the most important. All right, let's go. Due to landslide. Okay. <laughs> so what do I do then? I have no idea. There's like no other way out of here. And there's no one here either. Alright, so I just tried to call my mom. The road surface here and like two other websites. It's Sunday. My parents are in church right now, so that's why they're not answering and uh, that will take probably another hour. And I'm stuck, like there's nothing here. The only thing I can do is just take the road. I think I'm gonna do it. I mean, I think I'm just gonna take the car road. I'm gonna put my lights on, of course. I think I'm just gonna do it. It's And it's just a small stretch of like maybe... Maybe seven kilometers, and it's all downhill, so I'll be done like maybe ten minutes or something. I think I'm gonna do it. All right, let's do it. I went through, I made it. Nah, it's 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 not that bad. I mean, it's light, there's light in there. But uh, there is a cycle path. I don't know if I already passed the landslide. That's kind of the problem that I'm having right now. I don't know if the landslide is over there or if it's like down here. So I could choose to follow the cycle path now, which takes a little different route. But I don't know if the landslide is coming up and then I have to go all the way back and it's like pretty much all downhill. Oh what? They have to go down here. 
This is just going to be zigzag. Look at that view though. I think I'm going to do it. I think so. Is my light still on? I hope so. <laughs> Alright, so this is where the road is closed. I took the bicycle path, by the way, because I thought I was already past the landslide. You know what, I'm, I think I'm just gonna take a look. And, uh, I mean, if I can pass it, I can pass it, right? It is huge here, though. It is so awesome. But I'm a little scared, because if I have to go all the way back up, that's like 300 meters. It's quite far. Is this it? I mean, if that's it, I'm gonna take another look a little further, but this is doable. I, I don't see anything, like, it, it just, it just goes on. No landslide, in my opinion, but why would they close the whole road just for these boulders? I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Look at that guys, we made it to the other side. Was that a landslide or just a couple boulders on the road and the road wasn't really maintained. I think it has been this way for a couple of years already. But that's awesome, we made it. Um, yeah, I think we just have to ride on the road right now again and uh, get out of this ravine. Look at this, it is so gorgeous. Oh yeah. Drastically, look at this. Beautiful. Oh, blue sky, look at that. Yes, that's nice. My goodness, it's so beautiful here. So for tonight, I hope to have a warm shower address. The only thing is, it's 80 kilometers away from here. And it's already 2 p.m. To get there, I also have to take two ferries. So the chance that I make it, very small. I'm just gonna pedal and uh, enjoy the enjoy the nature around me. So so beautiful. This landscape is just too huge for my little drone to uh, to fly around. I wanted to do like a overshot so you could see all the fjords, but 
that's not gonna work I think up there the wind is a lot harder and uh, you know my little drone even going through that village right there just, I think halfway it already lost connection it sucks a little bit but uh, I mean on the box it said it could go for like a kilometer or two so uh, but yeah it is huge <laughs> it is so beautiful and I know I've been here before but I I, I kind of can't remember this like the fjords being the way they are. Anyway, I'm making my way. And this is a pretty cool path, by the way. This is a really good path. Look at this awesome tunnel I'm going through. I'm the only one. Echo! thing is I just looked on the map the top of this one right here that is 1200 meters above sea level right now we're pretty much at zero and uh, so yeah that's actually where we started this morning was way up there at 1200 meters and then we zip down and now we're here down in the valley gosh cycling has been so good so good even in this little town here there are Chinese tourists again. They're everywhere. <laughs> Just take pictures with their phones, you know. Anyway, that was quite fun. But I'm gonna continue on. Hey, you guys. Found camp right there. You can see my bike's upside down. That's why I also stopped a little early. I couldn't make it to the warm showers place it was another like maybe 50 kilometers away from here but um, this has been bugging me like crazy oh it's completely completely flat I don't know what it is it sucks um, I started this morning with a flat man it seems like so long ago today was such a changing day like this morning I started it was cold it was fresh it was right high high ele elevation you know totally different world than this like it is it is actually quite warm like my hands are not freezing right now which is so nice like you can actually have time to do your stuff instead of trying to do it as fast as you can because otherwise your hands get get cold and I got so cold it sucks but here it's like maybe seven or eight degrees like which is good like so good anyways so yeah I started this morning with a flat tire already I was like no I didn't, I didn't want to change it high up in the mountains so what I did is I just pumped up the tire and it kept me going for the next three hours Then I had to pump it up again Then we went down the hill and then like an hour and a half later I had to pump it up again And then an hour later I had to pump it up I think 15 minutes ago I pumped it up and right now it's already flat so yeah that sucks But uh, here it's nice and warm I'm gonna patch it maybe tonight or tomorrow <laughs> It's still not it's not that late it's actually five o'clock so maybe I'm gonna do that uh, tonight But um, first I want some food because I am Starving. I didn't tell you that I'm at, I'm at a camping place, but um, this is what I found. I'll show you. I'm pretty sure it's an abandoned one for the season again, but it says here, also in Dutch, which is really convenient, the owner comes between eight and nine. So I wanted to go to the toilet, but then you get this in the toilet, like right there. And then I tried some other places, like the shower. Same thing. <laughs> so yeah, I, I can't use any of the facilities here. I mean, I do have power right next to my campsite, but I you know my battery is still full. So I don't know if the owner is gonna come. Between eight and nine, it could be. But I refuse to pay like too much because I can't use any of their facilities. And that's what you basically pay for. And maybe yeah, a little bit of your land and stuff. But I think he will give me a reduction if he comes like at all, I don't know. We'll see, but uh, let's get some food because I'm starving. Well guys, it is late and as you can hear, it is raining again. Nah, that's fine. I'm in my tent. I'm dry, luckily. Not cold. My hands are not cold at all. It is actually very, very nice. I really appreciate it. 
Only downside is what I noticed. I don't know if you can see that. Ah, the mosquitoes are back. Or the, the flies and the bugs and that kind of stuff. That was one big, big advantage of being up there in the mountain. You didn't see any mosquitoes at all. Like nothing whatsoever. But here they're back and it sucks. But yeah, I like the warmer temperature, just uh, I, I prefer this. Um, I'm gonna blow up my air mattress. Unfortunately, the pillow is still leaking. I don't know, I put so much tape on that thing, but it is still somehow, uh, air is still escaping. So what I do then is I have my, um, this is my stuff sack for the uh, sleeping bag. And I fill that with my uh, clothes that I wear during the day. I just lay that out there. And that's my pillow, basically. Yeah, it's not the most comfortable thing, but it works, so uh, that's okay. Anyways, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Please give it a like if you did. Please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.